Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, just to give you guys a heads up, I am headed back to my old stomping ground, uh, Indian River Lagoon. I'll be there tomorrow morning and hopefully getting out on the boat and doing some uh, flats fishing. Um, my mom's going to be joining me, which is awesome. Anytime you get to spend time with your parents and go out there and get on the water and go fishing, it's a plus up. My wife is going with us, but she's not going out in the boat. She'd rather sleep. Um, so, <laughs> I understand. But I'm not here to talk about right, that right now. I am here to uh, show you guys my new toy. Bam! The brand new uh, Shimano Naski 4000. I didn't really fish spinning reels uh, from Shimano. But uh, I did buy myself, I think it was three months ago, four months ago, the Sahara uh, 3000. And uh, absolutely fell in love with it. It is great technology for uh, this uh, day and age. Um, look at that. Oh, it's gorgeous. This reel, as you can see, brand spanking new out of the box. Haven't even been able to use it. I did take the little sticker thing off, but um, I am going to be taking it with me uh, back to the lagoon, and I'm going to be testing it out there, and hopefully uh, it'll be a really good trout and jack reel. I'm going to spool it up with some 30-pound Power Pro. Excellent stuff. That's all I ever fish with. So, um, But let's talk about the reel. Uh, just looks right off the back. It's got like a dark blue sparkle in it. Uh, steel forged handle, which is really awesome. Very durable. It does have the Hygani uh, gears in it and the X ship. Front drag, 24 pounds of drag. Uh, really smooth transition, even though people want that smooth transition. I always manually flip my bales, just preference. Uh, it does hold up to, let's see, holds up to 10 pounds monofilament at 200 yards, which is, you know, pretty good. And I want to say it holds up to up to 50 pound braid at like 180, um, which is crazy. I would never recommend putting 50 pound braid on this unless you're bass fishing in the, uh, the hydrilla and the lilies, if you're punching in there, then that, I guess, would be an acceptable thing. But if you're out in the salt water, you don't need 50 pound braid on here. 30 pounds almost is overkill. But I really prefer 30 pounds. Um, it does have uh, 4 plus 1 ball bearings on it. It weighs 10.4 10 ounces, which is you know still pretty light for a salt water application reel. If you get into the pens, they get a little bit heavier, but they're you know they're built for just straight salt water. This is actually built for light fresh water all the way up to medium salt water, so they they did go for making it a little bit lighter. Uh, Twenty four pounds of drag, like I said, which is really really nice for you know a, a fresh water reel um, and salt water and. Uh, I'm hoping uh, to get it strung up. Well, I'm getting it strung up tonight so I can take it out tomorrow. And um, hoping to uh, have a really awesome time with it. And uh, hope you guys can uh, see some footage of that Monday or Tuesday. I'm hoping to to get that film, you know, edited and, and put together. Um, but again, guys, thanks for watching. And if you like the video, please hit that subscribe button because there, there will be plenty more content coming at you. Thank you, guys.